NFLGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a 2010 NFL Draft special on the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to just jump right into the list and see who the Chiefs selected in this weekend's draft. The Chiefs came into this weekend's draft with some question marks on defense, and they were able to address that tremendously. What I like most was the fact that they bolstered their secondary. Look at the selections of Eric Berry, who was one of the top players, regardless of position in the draft. You also look at, in the second round, they got Javier Arenas, a guy that was a physical corner, multi-purpose threat that can also return kicks and help out in their return game. And you also look at, in the fifth round, Kendrick Lewis, a guy out of Ole Miss that has ball hawking skills that's going to help out back there in the secondary. So now you look at the secondary that has Eric Berry, Kendrick Lewis, Javier Arenas, Brandon Carr, and Brandon Flowers, the Chiefs secondary went from a weakness to now a strength off one weekend. Key players in this draft, a look at Dexter McCluster, a guy that's going to help out a lot in that offensive scheme for Ty Haley. He's a wild card. He can play running back. He, you can also put him in a slot. He's going to be a versatile playmaker for the Chiefs. Also, I like Javier Arenas. I was big on this guy. He may be short. He may not be as fast, but he is quick active, physical, and can also help out in the return game. So you're getting a tremendous playmaker at a value spot in the second round. So that's what I like most about those guys. Those guys are key players in this draft. Some undrafted free agents that caught my attention, you look at Jeremy Horn out of UMass and Mike Johnson out of North Alabama. Mike Johnson is a dynamite playmaker, dominated Division II, and he should be able to help out tremendously with the Chiefs and make this squad. Both guys, Horn and Johnson, going to come in with some tremendous playmaking ability, some activity in the, in the defensive side of the football. So those guys are going to be impressive, and I love the fact that they have a real opportunity to make this squad for the Chiefs. The only question I have about the Chiefs draft is why not select a tackle? You know you need to help on the offensive line. You should have bought in a rookie to help move Brandon Albert down to a natural guard spot or a guy that can also play right tackle. So you needed some help on the, on the bookends of your offensive line. They didn't address that, but I still like the Chiefs draft overall. I give these guys an A. They added so, some solid playmakers in McCluster and Eric Berry. So that's a huge pickup for the Chiefs. This is going to be more one of, one of the more improved teams in the NFL this year. For more NFL draft grades, visit footballgameplan.com slash draft or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.